Welcome back. Members of Adene First Nation in the Northwest Territories welcomed VIPs to their traditional lands this week. They were there for a one-of-a-kind ceremony. Once again, here's APTN's Colin Crozier with that story. Delegates from across the country have arrived in the Acacio region of the Northwest Territories. They have come to celebrate the beginning of what could be a long-lasting partnership. Avalon Rare Metals, in partnership with the Yellowknife's Dene, have renamed the mining company's mineral deposit at Thor Lake, Nechalacho, which means the long point. The traditional name was chosen by elders and community members who blessed the site with prayers and a fire feeding ceremony. Dene Chief Edward Sangres believes that this partnership will lead to further economic prosperity for the people of his community. The vision that we have is that we cannot be left behind economically. We have to walk the fine line as, as Dene in, the, in, in everything we do. We have to ensure we keep our culture and our tradition. At the same time, we have to ensure sustainability for our members. The exploration site, located 100 kilometers southeast of Yellowknife, is looking at a greener way of doing business. Currently, Avalon is drilling for minerals that are used in environmentally friendly products such as wind turbines, solar panels, and electric cars. Avalon CEO Don Bubar hopes to send a message to other mining companies about what it takes to do business with First Nations. Too often, First Nations and mining companies find themselves in conflict. And I believe this is usually because of a lack of awareness about each other's ambitions and priorities for the use of the land. The partnership promises jobs and business opportunities to the Dene, while at the same time encouraging greater engagement and meaningful consultation. The days of mining companies coming in and exploring our lands and leaving the legacy of environmental and social problems is over. They uh, came to our chief and council meeting and they presented uh, their uh, ideas and how we can work together. So when you want to engage in business or any uh, development, that's the proper way to do a consultation is you come to the chief and council level and talk to them and letting them know that what you're going to do is environmental protecting and wildlife protecting and it's, it's a more of a communication system that you're supposed to be doing. Former Assembly of First Nations National Chief Phil Fontaine has recently been appointed to Avalon's Board of Directors. His name adds to the company's growing reputation in dealing with First Nations. It's about cultural sensitivity and uh, we know that in the past uh, uh, too many mining interests, too many exploration companies were insensitive to our people. Didn't, uh, uh, there was a complete disregard for the interests of our people, uh, the, um, uh, our cultures, uh, our history, our values and uh, uh, all of that is changing. Colin Crozier, APTN National News, Thor Lake.